Hey everyone, welcome to my Blu-ray DVD update for the month of October 2016. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Didn't pick up a ton this month, but I did pick up some, some really cool things. So let's go ahead and get into this. First up, my only DVD pickup this month, and that is a Doctor Who DVD. It is The Awakening. This is part of the Peter Davison years. And uh, basically in this, uh, the Doctor takes his companions to this uh, small English village to visit Tegan's grandfather. But um, they're doing a, re a war reenactment of an old battle, and they're taking it way too seriously. And uh, the Doctor finds out there's some alien influence involved uh, with it. Uh, so I thought this was an alright story. I mean, it is a two-part uh, story, and originally it was supposed to be a four-part story, but they, they trimmed it down to fit the two-part format. So, I, I honestly, I, I feel like it does feel rushed in some parts, and the story elements aren't fleshed out enough to really understand. They just kind of breeze by everything. Uh, but that being said, it's still still a, a, a decent story with some, some nice special features. Uh, so, next up we have my, my first ever 4K... Uh, Blu-ray pickup, and that is X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, I think I'm actually going to start picking up 4K Blu-rays now, depending on, on the price. With this one, uh, the price was like 25 for this. The regular Blu-ray was 22 so I figured why not spend, you know, three, four extra dollars to get this. Um, and I have to say, the, the Blu-ray quality, just the standard 1080p Blu-ray, looks fantastic on this, so I can only imagine what the 4K looks like. Uh, you know, hopefully one day I'll, I will get a, a 4K TV and a 4K Blu-ray player and be able to to test it out. As far as the movie goes, it's all right. I mean, it's it's nothing spectacular. It's it's pretty much more of the same what you've come to expect from a Brian Singer X-Men movie, and it doesn't take any risk. Doesn't doesn't try to do anything new, unfortunately. Um, but it's it's decent for what it is. I enjoyed it. Next up, we have a Criterion Blu-ray. Uh, they had a flash sale uh, last week, and uh, I only picked up one in this flash sale because uh, I, 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 I wanted to save some money for some things coming up. But uh, I picked a I picked up a good one. This is The Manchurian Candidate. I had never seen this film. I watched it a couple nights ago. Really, really good film. Love the story in it. Um, there's some great acting in this. Frank Sinatra does a great job. Uh, Angela Lansbury in this is a terrible person. Oh my gosh. Uh, but this really kind of, um, this is actually based on a novel and uh, it goes into the whole kind of uh, Red Scare uh, thing with uh, people accusing other people of, of communists, people fearing, you know, communism in, in America. Uh, Really, really, really good story. Really depressing, though, but definitely pick this movie up. It, it's a great film. Then we have uh, a release from Scream Factor. I think pretty much everybody <laughs> picked this up, but it is the collector's edition of The Thing. I first saw this movie a couple years ago and loved it. Great story, great special effects. Uh, just uh, just a, 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 a really cool movie. All together, and they went all out on this Blu-ray release. Really did the the picture quality has improved from the old uh, Universal release of this. Um, they got tons of special features. There's new audio commentary. Um, they they have uh, the old audio commentary with uh, John Carpenter and Kurt Russell. Um, they got new interviews with uh, John Carpenter and some some of the cast. Um, and just some, some great special features on this. I haven't gone through everything yet, but from what I've seen so far, they, they did a great job on this. And the, the movie is just great. Um, and then I, I picked up some Twilight Time uh, releases. Um, now, Twilight Time, in my opinion, is kind of Criterion Light. Um, they're, they're not... As far as the packaging goes, they're, they're not good, as good as quality as Criterion, but um, usually the picture quality is... Is fairly good on these. So first up, we have John Carpenter's Vampires. Um, I thought it'd be nice to get a, a horror movie, you know, maybe review this for Halloween. And so I, I I saw this on sale on Twilight Time. I think I paid like 
20 25 dollars for it something like that and uh i i've i've watched it now and it's it's all right you know i thought it was going to be more of a horror movie and it's it's really more of an action movie with horror elements uh but the script's not very good uh some of the acting's not not great but uh it's it's interesting for what it is i really love vampire movies so i like that aspect of it uh but it does have its problems, but a, a nice release from Twilight Time. The picture quality is quite good. Uh, not a lot of special features on this, uh, but still nice to, to have this. This is a limited edition of 5,000 units, so nice to have that in the collection. And then this is another one on sale. This is a, an older classic movie um, that I really wanted to check out, and it's Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. I got this for like uh, 20 bucks. Uh, shipped uh, from Twilight Time, and it's uh, supposedly it's supposed to be a really great um, Blu-ray of this. Picture quality is supposed to be great, and does have quite a bit of special features on it. So I'm really looking forward to, to checking this movie out. All right, and then finally, <laughs> this is the 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 biggest thing that I bought this month, and I kind of bought it on on just a whim because uh, I thought, you know what, I need more collector's edition additions in my collection and so I saw this on sale um, I think it was like $35 I thought it was a pretty good deal so I picked up the ultimate collector's edition of Singing in the Rain um, now I, I I don't necessarily know if uh, this collector's edition is is worth it I mean you get uh, a nice uh, it's like an art book with uh, some information in it um, loads of special features on two DVDs, um, but you know, I, I really wanted to get this film. I remember watching this um, when I was a kid uh, years and years ago, and I, I just remembered uh, towards the end of it. So I was really wanting to to watch this in full. And a really great movie, some some great some great singing in this and and dancing, just some really well done choreography and just uh some great actors in this really great musical really happy to add this into my collection all right guys well that is it for my blu-ray dvd update for the month of october as always uh definitely tell me what you guys picked up down in the comments below and like the video share it and subscribe